Yo, 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 this is your boy Fireworks, and welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. The beautiful White Gold is here with us today, and we are still going from White Gold's list of movies. So, we're here with another first time watching for me, and this is titled The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And we just are fresh off, an op off of Oppenheimer, um, and she said that it would be a good, in a sense, vibe translation. Or Maybe. next to each other, um, since it's I guess in the kind of the same setting or same time period or close to the same time period. Yeah, I mean this is when like Hitler was around and like the okay. Nazi stuff was happening, so it, they, they don't necessarily correlate. I just feel like it was, you know, yeah, historical. Yeah, historically. Correlation. Yeah, like because okay. it was around the same time, you know, then they were working on this bomb before Hitler died, so it was just. They were kind of, I don't know. I just felt like it was kind of maybe a good bridge. Yeah. Okay. To go from maybe Oppenheimer to The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. I've again, I've never seen this, so I don't know anything about it. She hasn't spoiled me. She did. She did kind of give me like a setting because it's obvious if you see the cover or the background. Yeah, behind he me. thought he was in jail, and I just told him it's a concentration camp. And so that not jail. So that, that just told me everything. Oh, we're in. You know those times and stuff like that so i'm interested um rotten tomatoes has this high on really? on the website yeah i bet it's like it's a, a 70 movie. something percent it's a good movie. um so I'm, I'm interested to take a look this is the boy in the striped pajamas correct right what year did this come out 2008 oh so this is a so this is a movie that was done to portray <laughs> that time in 2008 so they did it in 2008 to portray the time period. Okay. So that'll get me like, that'll see me where I'm at. Like time Auschwitz. was. Auschwitz. Auschwitz. It's a place. It's a Auschwitz, place. Germany. Auschwitz, Germany. That's the place that, like, I'm pretty sure Auschwitz, Auschwitz was the camp. Oh, okay. So before we get into this, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys leave a like. If you're new here to the channel, hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. That way, when we do a video just like this, you all will get first. And of course, if you're watching it right now, it has been up on Patreon. So if you want to get these videos early and edited with all the commentary, the link in the Patreon is in the description. And don't forget to follow us on Twitch because what we are not going to do here, we will be doing it over there. All right. So again, this is the boy in the striped pajamas from 2008. All right. I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And we back. Mark Herman. Here we straight this in. This was a book. Oh, it was a book? I might have, that makes me feel like I've seen the book. Or heard about the book. I've never read it because I'm not like a big book reader. I'm like a more of a comic book reader. But yikes! Yep. I can already tell this is gonna be like some type of uh, beautiful imagery because it's like kids, and then you have like the the symbols and stuff behind it. Like it's like yeah, you know what I mean? Like it's just normal. What am I to do? You know? Oh, she's in it. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's a classic actor. Because she plays in, what, The Conjuring, right? <laughs> Girl, I can already tell you this is going to make me mad uncomfortable. Hello, sweetheart. Mom, what's going on? Your father's been given a promotion, so we're having a little party to celebrate. Just the more... So are they... British. Mm-hmm. Moving. To the countryside. Think of it as an adventure, like in one of your books. The house we're going to might be even better. Dad says it's got a garden. For real, for real. You take it for granted, but I'm going to be real. <coughs> I would love to have a garden. Yeah, me too. Love it. Me too. Look at Char. Cleans up well, my man, Bruno. And then I guess his older sister, which sucks. She probably picks on him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, perhaps it's me that's getting smaller. Well, Mummy and Daddy say it's a good thing, so I suppose it must be. Children, be angels, will you? 
awesome food around. Okay, what was that all about? She made a face. She, she don't want them to move, I guess. I want to know why they moving. Does it still make you feel special, love, dear? The uniform. It's a party. Let's not spoil things. Uh, me? Airing your views so publicly could land you in trouble. You know that. Okay, so he warned her. Yeah. Warning her big time. <laughs> He sold that well from all the ones we've seen. Malcolmville. <laughs> that makes me hella sad for him. I've been there. What a depressing feeling it is. Unless I pray in Jesus' name, care for my family just the same. They got good kids. They raised some good kids, though. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, the contradictions and everything is just like, yee. <laughs> Children, look. Look. It's got, like, battle cages. It was this Jurassic Park. Man. It always looks really good in size. What kind of stairs is that? Well, what do we think? You two choose your rooms. I'll have Maria come and... Man, she took off. She definitely wanted to pick a room. I would have took off myself. I can't lie. My children. Over on the farm. Farm? You can only see it from my room. I mean, she don't know what it is. What? I'll be able to play with them. I don't see why not. They look a bit strange. <laughs> the children do. Vegetables. I told you they were strange. Who? The farmers. Do you remember? Yeah, no, I see what's going on. I, I think that's a little, I think this is a little much. And it's very obvious that he don't understand it. Right. He's just a child. He don't even have the ego yet. So he's going through this as innocence and by just sheer right and wrong. You know what I mean? Home is where the family is. Isn't that right? You have to at least give the place a chance. Why do the farmers wear pajamas? Yeah, his mama still didn't answer him. Well, you see, they're not really people at all. Bruno, who told you it was a farm? Was it Maria? It is a farm, isn't it? Yes. Damn, he really don't know. He just assumed. We're working very hard to make this world a better place for you to grow up in. I can still play with them, though. I don't think so, Bruno Mayo. But they're different. <laughs> Gee, why is this making me uncomfortable and mad at the same time? It is pissing me off. Door at the front. Dad explored it all. Well, come back here now and we'll take a look. Man, she stopped him. What the? What's going on? Is that how? Yeah, it's got to be how you get there. And she just, well, come on. He can't sit there for years on years and just do that over and over. Right. Like exploring. Where did you go? I wanted to look in the back garden. We even miss school. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you hear every kid say that. I've arranged a tutor for you both. School's coming here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what in the world? He's just throwing this on his family. And yeah. They just look at him like, Ugh, okay. Uh... Can I ask you a favor? Are there any spare tires around? The only spare tire I've seen around here belongs to Lieutenant Meinberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god don't look like it's gonna get any tire out of him yeah he's very attached to it <laughs> I want to make a swing a swing you there are some tires in there he will select one you will carry it wherever he asks do you understand uh, now he gonna get his answers for sure and he gonna get that swing while he's swinging on his sister yikes Uncom I mean this is how it was but it is uncomfortable y'all how about this one? Okay. That's all right. He made one. That's dope. Ah. He got his knee and everything. He's all right. Where's my mum? She's out. But I might bleed to death. She'll probably take me to a doctor. He's being so dramatic. That's how we were as kids, though. We thought the world was over. Jayla, that's what she does every once. She counts them and shows us, like, look at all my all parents' right. cars. I practiced as a doctor. You couldn't have been much good then if you had to practice. 
see that his his innocence is just. <coughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> I made a swing, but I fell off it and cut my knee. Cut his knee in and put a bandage on it. Go to your room. But Papa says I don't argue. Go to your room. Damn, she gonna go at him. She better not go at him. She better not. Thank you. Wow, that's all. That's uh, that's that relieves me. Yeah. <laughs> that relieves me. So I know that has to make him feel better. Because <sighs> I don't know if I could take. I, know. I don't know if I could take it seeing him they pick on him right now. I just don't know if I can watch. So you will be aware of the situation in which our great nation presently. Um, one of father's men keeps me up to date on everything that's happening. <laughs> and you. <laughs> and he can see through it. He's looking like. You're how old now, Bruno? Eight. To turn your mind to the real world. Dang, that's a thick book. The Almanac? Yeah. Really? Sneaking around. Mm -hmm. Snooper. Yay. Damn, he's big time exploring. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is what he wanted, though. I mean, there's a lot of open area where they not even that. He could just, they tripping. <laughs> Damn, he's at the fence of that. He went a long way then. Yeah, well, he said he wanted to play with the children. He's going to do what he wants, ain't he? Exploring. Where, where will we hunt? That's a house. Or a hut. Probably nothing inside of it. I'm Bruno. Schmoll. Schmoll? No one's called Schmoll. How old are you? Eight. Me too. Well, they're the same age. This is going to be awesome if they, like, get to be friends somehow or something. That number. Isn't it part of a game or something? Everyone gets given a different number. I don't know if he's getting it he yet. He doesn't understand, yeah. I really don't, I don't know if he gets it yet, but... The, I don't know. The, friend, the best things in life are sticking out. Like, the friendship. You know, his innocence. He didn't judge him. He probably ain't talked to nobody like that. He judged his name. Right. Shmoo. I feel like that was more like the eight-year-old in it. Yeah. I have a piece of chocolate. A piece. Have you looked in the cellar? For your football? Oh. He took that chocolate. He was gone. He was gone. See? So is she even taking the kind to him? See? Yeah. She knows it's wrong or whatever, you know. Yeah, she feels I'm it. sure she... I don't know if she knows fully... Maybe either. I don't know, though. I can't remember. His uh, shirt-vest combo is, is uh, top ten. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, electric. Uh. Where the fence is electric? Wow. I'm just going into town for an hour. Do you want to come? You be careful on that thing. No, he wants to stay so he can explore. He can get away with his mama now. Mm -hmm. Damn, is that German Shepherd? Right, real German Shepherd. Ooh. Yeah, German oh, Shepherds. German, German Shepherds. <laughs> They're not pajamas. We had to. They took our old clothes away. My dad's a soldier. But not the sort that sent people's clothes away. He's in charge of making everything better for everyone. Yikes, he's like saying, he's only saying based on what he knows from his dad, he's just believing kind of gullible like yeah it's funny how grown-ups can't make their minds up about what they want to do it's like pavel you know he used to be a doctor gave it all up to be potatoes uh-oh his mama's back she's probably looking for him uh-oh oh no what do you burn on those chimneys i saw them go in the other day i don't know we're not allowed over there well whatever it is it smells horrid what is that i don't want to know never mind but that's to stop the animals getting out, isn't it? No, it's to stop people getting out. 
Why? What have you done? I'm a Jew. Okay, so did he, I don't know, did that piece it together for some reason or something for him? <clears throat> he looked at it like, I don't know. Then he made it right back in time. Smooth, Bruno. Smooth. <laughs> oh, Grandma and Grandpa coming. Hey, did you smell that horn? Damn, so if Grandma comes, she gonna call it out. Maybe. Did you smell it, Mom? Father, let me speak to her. Yes, she is. I can hear her. <laughs> Damn, she going crazy over there. Horrid smell from the chimneys. What is it? I think they just burn rubbish there sometimes. Hey! Gretel. It is. Uh, she mad. <laughs> she got beat. Ralph, this tutor you've brought in, does he usually teach children as young as Gretel and Bruno? They're yeah, being taught what all children are being taught at the moment. They mustn't get left behind. Let's get to bed. Yeah, he shrugged that off. He's like, not. Nah. <laughs> I mean, they're, everybody's acting weird. The eventual result of which was our nation's collapse. I don't understand. There is such thing as a nice hero, isn't there? If you ever found a nice, you would be the best explorer in the world. Okay. I don't feel like it's helping his situation to understand what's going on, but it's carrying the story and it's crazy. Yeah. Like he's getting these type of perspectives and it's crazy. I was going for a walk. I thought I might get pickish. Who you knows is this? Damn, he about to get caught up. <sighs> Let me see. Words. Books. I've just got adventure books. Go on. Off you go then. Damn. Okay. He crossed okay. her. He hit her with the... He hit her with the... Mm-hmm. Here. He's crazy for that. He's really trying to get caught. But at the same time, he's just innocent. He's just trying to have some fun. Don't throw it back. It's dangerous. Dangerous? You're a fool. Come on. Do you not like playing? Not here. He don't want to get caught. <sighs> Smoke! Wow, well, man. This is tough to watch, man. This is hard. This is just a kid, man. Damn. My ball went over. I was just kicking it back. They smell even worse when they burn, don't they? What? This is terrible. This is terrible. Because <clears throat> I feel like she didn't even know. Surely. Yeah. Yes, sir. I was sworn to secrecy. From your own wife. Damn, he said he was sworn to secrecy. <laughs> Ass. An oath upon my life. He took an oatmeal. <laughs> Upon your wife? <laughs> you took an oatmeal on your wife? <laughs> no, not that. Soldiers fight wars. That isn't war! You included cannot be achieved without work no, such as no. this. Yeah, she knows this is too far. What you're doing is too crazy. Yeah, don't you even think about it. Damn it, <laughs> Bruno. Because she, she can't deal with that. I know, like you just put the guilt on her. Y'all are burning bodies, innocent people. Like, how do you? And dude just made a joke, like, ha ha. Smell, like, no. You. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, Last Supper. Damn, he ain't <laughs> it's the damn, Last Supper. He's dead. Because <laughs> she, damn, she been out snitched on. He, he yeah. just told you everything. It was a whole thing. It's one in his life. Well. Tense. Cut your steak. Cut the tension. <laughs> Bro, you better eat some of that plate, too. You can eat the tension. You feel me? You know, Ralph, your mother really is sick. Maybe that's what's made her sick. Mm. Kitchen. Because y'all sick. Man, because, yeah, what y'all doing is some nasty stuff, bro. All we do is boring old history. The work your father is doing here is history. sick. Y'all, ye, you, yeah, you, yeah. It is history, but it's negative history for oh. sure. History was my favorite subject by my, which obviously didn't please my father. 
We're not in touch, my father and I left the country some time ago. Where did you go? Bro, what's going on? This is awkward. Father, the professor of literature, where did he go? How strange that he should choose to leave the fatherland at the very moment it needed him most. More wine. Damn, he drunk off that liquor too. It was that old thick wine back mm -hmm. here. Come on! Perhaps he was ill. Unless Damn, this is awkward. Ugh. Even so, all of them traitors. Absolutely right. You fighting too! <laughs> Oh no, and she's gonna have to sit there. Oh, oh no. Dad just sat up there. But you deserved it. Damn, he tore him up. Yeah, look and at it. She's him. reading all them books, believing all that stuff. You don't still think it's a farm, do you? It's a camp. What's called a work camp. They're in there because they're evil. They're the enemy. Evil, dangerous vermin. The yeah, this is terrible. It's like she's brainwashed. She's totally brainwashed. Man, she's she ain't got no makeup on, nothing. She just... She's been crying nonstop, probably. For days. <sighs> I'm waiting on her today Says she's out. She's taking them kids with her. What makes you say it's all a bit strange? You see, they're not really people at all. Yeah, I feel like he's starting to like piece it together a little bit man this is hard man we're not supposed to be friends you and me you want some <laughs> with their kids they can't just be mean as kids they don't work <clears throat> how dare you talk to people in the house have you been stealing food no sir he gave it to me. Do you know this? No. I just walked in and he was here. Oh, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> yeah, he knows he did. He knows he messed up. Bro, you need to say something, bro. You might have got my man killed, man. This is incredible. And heavy. And that there's ample opportunity for leisure also. For the mill or boot factory, <laughs> the workers can enjoy the many forms of those that don't play certainly enjoy watching. Almost any activity one could wish for is available within the camp. Yeah, this is this is, is not what it looks like at all. Total false advertising. Total false advertising. He's still not there. Wow. True. True. I don't know why I did it. And that soldier's so scary. Man, he was scared. <sighs> oh, I'm really sorry for what I did. We are still friends, aren't we? Okay. At least they got back friends, because that was going to hurt me. Dang, look at her, though. She's going through it. When will Pavel be back? Mum. Never stupid. His father, they've been bond. Grandmother's dead. Damn, what? His grandfather, I mean, well, his dad and them got bond? That's a, that was a lot of information at one time, boy. Pavel's, I guess he's Pavel's, dead. Yeah. And oh boy, he had to go, he got cut because of his dad. She throwing low balls. Who got cut? The girl, the, the what the girl she mentioned it to him. She asked about her. The twelve year old. Mm. Oh yeah. And for all. Have you ever been to a funeral? That one there to that. <laughs> That's crazy. They're playing. I guess chess or is that checkers? Checkers. This is fun. We should do something a bit more exciting, though. That one there, to there. This one. No! Here! No! 
And his, he, yeah. yeah, his little eyes healing up too. That's all right. If the opportunity arose, you prefer to live somewhere else. Aunt Lottie's in Heidelberg, her brother. I must stay and complete my work here. You need to spend some time elsewhere. Do you like that? Yeah, yeah he didn't want to go now because of Shimil. his friend. Damn, yeah, man, Bruno can't catch a break. He leaves his friends, meets a friend, has to leave again. We can't find Papa. Sounds like some bad news, too. I'm going away. Mom says this is no place for children. When do you go? Tomorrow, after lunch. Damn, they moving fast. Yeah. He said tomorrow after lunch. I wish I could have helped you find your dad. I really want to make up for letting you down like I did. I could dig under. You don't want to come over here. Bro, is he gonna get to the other side? Oh God! You could look like me though. If you dress like me, pajamas are a different color. I could bring some. Don't worry then. I bring an extra big sandwich. <laughs> so you gonna try to do it before you leave? Yikes! Oh yeah, he's bringing an extra big sandwich. He was re he was for sure. Go on then. Wow, this is crazy. Now it's getting nerve wracking. Starting to pressure cook. The heat is up. We forgot the pajamas. Hey. Did you mean the sandwich? He dropped it. Damn, so he dropped the sandwich? Damn. Damn, man, it's about to storm. Well, you better hurry up. You better hurry up if you're gonna do it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Now she gonna go look for him. Oh. You better off helping him escape. You're right. Let's go and find your dad. So now they really gonna go try to find his dad? This is really crazy. He really don't get it. Can I go to the cafe or something? Cafe? Maybe I should go home. But what about Papa? I feel like it's making him uncomfortable. He don't want to be there. He's nervous as hell. Damn, bro. You should have never went, bro. Now you caught up in it. Oh. Damn, well, maybe she'll find him. It's gonna get ugly. They know where he went. This ain't gonna be good, is it? Oh, man. Weekly capabilities will be almost trebled before by the end of the summer. Bro, Bruno's missing. So is he gonna end up in the damn chamber? No way. Bro, I don't know if they're gonna make it in time. This is gonna be awful. What a story. I think we're just waiting in here until the rain stops. No, it's just a shower. Oh man, this is gonna be terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is <laughs> this is awful. Slip, oh my god, <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Bro, no way, y'all. This is insane. Like, this turned into a horror movie, bro. Bruno! <laughs> he deserves every bit of that, but it didn't, it didn't, not at the expense of Bruno. Unbelievable.
All right, you guys, so welcome back. That was the boy in the striped pajama. So, sweetheart, I guess you watching again, how does it make you feel? It's just heavy. It's a heavy movie. And I like just the perspective from a child. Like, he had no idea. And he was even so innocent to the last moment. Them yeah. going into the chamber to pass away like he had no idea and i mean neither did shmuel like Word. he really didn't know that where they were going either <laughs> but you know, they've been talking about this smell the whole time and these chimneys and shmuel talking about oh yeah there's thousands of pajamas in our hut Word. well that's where they came from like Word. just really just heavy yeah well you give it a d um, to me, this is a 10 out of 10 movie. 10 out of 10. I would like to see this in a modern time. For my first time watching it, it's definitely very, 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 very heavy. It's very uncomfortable for me to watch stuff like this. Um, it's hard. Um, that's about as much as I can put it. It's really hard to watch stuff like that. Seeing it through the kid's perspective is uh, a great illustration. And I get, and I, and I think that being a book first and this being a movie after is just one of the really good like one two punches mm -hmm. um sometimes when they adapt a book to a movie it don't really work out but i think that this is really really good um it does a good job of kind of drawing you into this bruno character out in the middle of nowhere and you know you kind of get to a point i like how you spend like the first 50 minutes of the movie kind of like getting to care about Bruno and how he sees things and it's really through his perspective, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, the mother and the father going through what they were going through. I mean, it's a sad story because it is their karma to what they were doing. And I, I don't think it should have been in the expense of Bruno, but, you know, when you look at it like, man, I mean, from the right. first time that she, his wife heard about it, bro, she was sick. And she was she was sick ever since that moment on camera. Every time we see her, was no makeup. She was, hair was down. Yeah. She was drinking. She was like, she couldn't really, she couldn't really rock with the fact that that was going down. She couldn't sleep with right. that going down, knowing that that's what's going down and having her innocent children and then seeing her daughter kind of get brainwashed into it and all this stuff. And it really is sad. Even like, I feel like, you know, the mother, you know, her instinct was, number one, first, her husband was just, in a sense, following orders, but he was brainwashed and doing the wrong thing. And then right. the little girl, you know, she, as much as she even tried to, I guess, tried to realize it a little bit, she just got brainwashed and really didn't really realize what was going on and feel like until there at the end, like, where she literally lost her yeah. brother. And it had to be really heavy on the mama because she was right like get him out of here right. and look what happened yeah like that's <laughs> definitely 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 uncomfortable i wish not necessarily i wish but i would like to see this in a modern day yeah version it's heavy now um but i think i would give this movie probably like a 9.5 10 out of 10 you know what i'm saying um i would have liked maybe a little bit more length just to see what maybe comes of that situation or yeah just maybe five more minutes ten more minutes to see what comes I, of it. yeah but i do like it because i mean because like i said it's from the kids perspective so right. even them saying stuff you have to infer like from as an adult like we know things but like if our daughter was to sit here and watch this like right she really probably wouldn't understand either because it's still you still have to assume and take context clues of what they're really saying and what's going on because he said something like they smell worse when they burn, don't they? Like you, you have to infer what they're doing and what's burning. Cause he told him it was rubbish, like trash, you know. So, but it wasn't. Right. So, you all let us know in the comments how you all feel about the boy in the striped pajamas. All right, let us know. So, a white gold with another dope movie, another fire movie. Uh, before we get out of here, make sure you guys are leaving a thumbs up. Make sure you guys leave a like, and if you're new here to the channel. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. That way we do a video just like this. You all will get it first. We are almost to 20K, so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please, please, please. Um, but, again, make sure you all are staying tuned to the channel because we will be back very, very soon, all right? 
I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold. This is Snoop is going to Snoop YouTube channel. And we out.